Hello, everybody. Hi, everyone. Thank you for being here. And we want to share with you our feelings and anticipation for the upcoming Ishitsogyo retreat. We have been practicing ourselves, studying ourselves, uh, immersing ourselves quite a bit and find that there's a special way, at least that I feel I'm anticipating it. You know, I've been blessed to have received this teaching initially in 2007 and got it considerably re reinforced in 2010 and 2012. And so we wanted an opportunity to come together as a group of practitioners and uh, create the field that arises when we practice together to allow us to ripen as much as possible in, in this practice. Everybody uh, by requirement who comes to this retreat will have received the teaching already. So we will review it and we'll have the opportunity to do about five and a half days of formal practice, four sessions a day with the uh, the Gundro, as well as the uh, becoming practice. Having the opportunity to listen, honestly, syllable by syllable and phrase by phrase, again, to Rinpoche's own teaching of this practice, these practices, both of them, especially the accomplishment practice. And there's just something about listening to it again in Tibetan that brings it forth in a different way. I understand it in a different way. I see the nuances in a different way. I start to see a little more of the horizon that, that Rinpoche is opening because at the beginning, you know, there's kind of so much information and it's so rich. Um, it takes time to sort it out and to see how the whole is a, an accomplishment of the many exquisite details in this practice. So this has been very much in our minds and hearts the last several months. And so this is something we want to share in our retreat. Uh, something that for us feels quite fresh, not quite digested earlier, and now um, more ready for prime time. That is to say, more ready to, to share with you all. There is a wonder that comes, you know, really almost any time I sit with this practice and certainly when we come together that, oh, 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 it's like this. You know, there's that freshness and it's a brilliant genius of the Tibetan tradition how we are encouraged to repeat things, to repeat things daily, to repeat things annually. Repetition is such a profound process because, you know, it, changes the ground that we're standing on. It changes our environment. So when we come to a practice out of a long history with that practice, and we're able to see it constellate in a fresh way, it's so alive. And that's part of the blessing. I mean, as Rinpoche emphasizes, the Vesanyintik is a fresh tradition. It's just recently birthed in our lifetime. Oh, suddenly something is clear to me that has never been clear, even though I've done it I don't know how many times. And this is truly amplified when we come together. It's the, the qualities of a group together and the power of repetition I, and all of the energy and hours that collectively have gone into this practice and that each of us are bringing into the retreat is like a, a magical tent in and of itself. One of the things that I've been doing for quite a number of years is, you know, reading Long Chemba through the lens of this Yeshitsogyo practice and also practicing Yeshitsogyo through the lens of Longchenpa's writings. And for me, this has been a, a great magnifier of appreciation of what the practice is actually offering us. So I'm looking forward to sharing that also in light of our fresher, um, more nuanced understanding of, of what Rinpoche himself is saying.
So it is an opportunity to both be supportive of our fellow Sangha brothers and sisters. We really see this as an opportunity for us all to kindle together, <laughs> to warm up our realization, warm up our practice, warm our hearts and our support and our love for reality, reality within one another. What a great gift. We hope to see you there. Lots of love from us right now. We're looking forward to seeing you. See you soon. <laughs>